I'm Deanne Oliver Evans. And I'm Mr. Lucas. And, and you're, you're watching, watching the HMTV HM show. <laughs> now, they're watching the HMTV show. I don't know what it's all about. I don't know what it's all about. I'll tell you. It's basically brought to you by the Bods at Hot Minute magazine. And it's a go to guide of everything that's cool here in London town from art, music, sport, restaurant guide, nightlife. You've got killer competitions interviews with lots of different people, pretty much everything that's cool here in the big city. You pretty much covered everything, but you forgot one crucial thing. Did it? I? Of course you What's did. What's that? That every show will be in a location in London showing you yes. all the hotspots. Like today, for instance, we're at the beautiful Box Park in East London. Yes, we are. Well, seemingly we're actually in Jamaica right now. <laughs> and also we're very, very noisy because we're right next to Shoreditch Overground Station. Yeah, yeah you, know, <laughs> you know the hustle and bustle of London. But that's why we're here, to show you the hustle and bustle of London and what it's all about. We'll be taking you for a tour around this quirky mall throughout the show. So make sure you stay tuned. Yes, indeed. And our Twitter followers can get us at Hot Minute Mag or hashtag the HMTV show. Now, Darren, are you going to fill us in about what we've got in our upcoming show? Yes, of course I am. Why else am I here? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, first up, we'll be catching up with pop-tastic duo Frisky and Manish. Yeah. We'll be racing with Red Bull at their soapbox race, plus the fantastic Queen of Hip Hop, Eve, will be answering the Hot Five. Amazing. We've also got a sterling competition coming up and an unmissable guide of what's coming up on all of the event side. And was that you I caught a glimpse of at Frisky and Manish at the Wonderground? Well, I'm a man of many talents, must I say, my dear. Right. Of course you are, if you say so. <laughs> right, let's see how Darren got on with the Frisky duo, Frisky and Manish. We're Frisky and Manish. We're just, we're just chilling with Hot Minute, like you do. And me? <laughs> well, yeah, obviously. Anyway. Who, who is this? Do you know him? I'll be yeah, yeah. He said he was with you. <laughs> So, Frisco and Manish, how long have you guys been together? We've been together for five years now. We just celebrated our fifth anniversary of working together. But we've known each other for about almost a decade. So how did the whole thing come about? It's like, you know, the comedy mix of parodies of songs. What, what pushed you to do that, to create the idea? Uh, good question. Well, we didn't actually set out to do it. It wasn't something that we made a decision on. We were just trying to get work um, as actors, singers, performers, musicians, whatever we could get. And obviously, yeah. it's incredibly hard. Um, and we found that out very quickly. And we just, but we, we realised that already we kind of lost the love for it. You know, we'd only been to a couple of auditions. We were already like, oh, should we be, should we be lawyers? You know, we just, we totally, you know, we'd, we'd, we almost were about to quit, I suppose. But then a friend of ours just said, oh, come and do uh, five minutes on a charity night that I'm doing just just sing a song whatever yeah. and it was it was wasn't supposed to be anything it was just us singing but we decided to have some fun mess around with something yeah. and that became what we do now but it was it was totally it was almost like the thing we did while we were waiting for our real job then right. became our real job which was right. amazing that's amazing. Doing yeah. something you love is always amazing isn't it it's so stupid i can't even believe we get to call this a job yeah it's ridiculous <laughs> <I'm a little laughs> what's she doing Oh my god, I know if she knew that move. Jessica, where did you get that pole? Oh my god. Jessica, stop that! Jessica, what are you doing? Stop that right now! It's Britney, bitch. Now, I've seen you've taken the piss out of N-dubs, Carpenters, <laughs> Rihanna, and so much more. Are, they, are you fans of these particular artists? Yes! Of course. Yes! Oh, Dappy is my idol. Yeah. <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> no, actually, Richard Carpenter is um, my idol. Yes. <laughs> no, what's the point? They, I mean, those people, hilarious. they do the work for you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, end of just wonderful. Oh. I'm on the top of the world looking down I'm on, on creation the of the world and the only explanation I can find. The only explanation. Show me some warm up. Show me, show me how you warm up. Well, warm up's very, warm up's very, you know, it's a very important thing. It's you know, you're like an athlete here. Yeah. Um, 
but they are, you know, they're, they're about being effective, not being, you know, graceful. No, they, don't, so, they don't sound good. I mean, the, the, <laughs> the most basic is always just to go... Like that. Another one is like, you know, if you're like quack, you like quack like a duck, you're like quack, quack, quack. So that gets a lot of things. And then, you know, other things, you just pretend like you're crying, you're like... That sort of thing. So... Whack, whack, whack. That, that was wow. incredible. That was really good. That was genuinely brilliant. Do you have training? That's my movement. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So guys, you've been doing Udder Belly, Wonderground and Fringe. How do they compare? What do you like the most? We've always had a good time at the Fringe. It, I don't think we'll ever not love the Fringe the most, just purely because that was where we launched. That was where our first big success happened. And it just is very you know, special to us all. Mary had a little lamb And its fleece was pure as snow Everywhere on the merry way Hello, we're Frisky and Manny. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot minute? Thank you. Darren, that looked like loads of fun. Those guys, Frisky and Manish, are hilarious. I'll tell you what, they were so funny. I had such a great time with them. And ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see more comedy like Frisky and Manish or anyone else that was performing at London Wonderground, then check out their website right here. Yeah, that's a nice little tip there for them. Thank to. you for that. It'd be a good night out for everybody. <laughs> now, you might have seen that we've had a little bit of a change of scene here at Box Park. We're now downstairs in one of the coolest stores. Mm. We're here at Abuse with a Z. <laughs> Owner Alex Grabowski launched Abuse in 2001. Now his vision was to create a range of clothing that incorporated graffiti art to add that kind of edge to the range. And it incorporates everything from t-shirts to boxer shorts. And the clothing line has been receiving some amazing celebrity attention from the likes of Tiny Temper who's been rocking the design and then also collaborations with people like So Solid Crew, Marvel, Foreign Beggars and Rodney P. Okay, I'm here with Nathan. Hi, how are you doing? Good, good. good. Can you just tell us a little bit about Abuse London? Well, Abuse London is, a, I would say, a cream streetwear brand. The CEO, um, I mean, he's started this brand about Ten years ago now, oh, he was um, quite a famous graffiti artist in the London area, and uh, still causing trouble on the streets. And so put it on t-shirts. Put it on t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> and it just kicked off from there, really. How long have you been here in the box park then? From the beginning. Um, so, box park's been open now for about two years. Yeah. Started in December 2011. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's just been going. Great it's a great space, isn't it? And so is it right that you press and make all of the t-shirts yourselves as well and you don't send them off to a supplier? Or... No, it's all in-house. So yeah, we do all the screen printing ourselves. Um, we do raised prints, we do discharge prints, we do it all. Um, well, yeah. yeah, I mean, I have kind of been having a little look around, but mm -hmm. I realised that there's just one maybe minor missing, a ladies' range. Yeah, maybe, that, question, for girls. that question gets thrown at me all the time. We have some sort of female tees um, with the Cheats and Fees brand, which is a collaboration brand with Mega Man from So Solid. Okay. Um, so yeah, we've got cheeky female sizes in that range, but I've used, not just yet, um, something we might consider doing later oh, on. Down oh, well that'll come back. Just let me know. Great, well thank you so much for talking no to us today anyway, and now uh, we're gonna get us a t-shirt. I know someone that maybe is bagging themselves a t-shirt hey, behind it. What are talking about? Let's go, go. <laughs> <laughs> So if you want to check out all the rest of the Abuse range, go to the website on the bottom of the screen. And so now, on to the rest of the show, where we are Red Bull Soapbox Racing with Hot Minutes Jasper. Take a look. Hello and welcome.
welcome to Alexandra Palace. We're here for the Red Bull Downhill Soapbox Race, where 70 slightly crazy teams behind me have made their own cars, custom built, non-motorized, to go down a track 420 meters long quite quickly. Well, it sounds simple, doesn't it? But Ali Pali has one of the steepest hills in London, and there's a fair few obstacles on the course as well, including my personal favorite, called the Big Air, for quite obvious reasons. The competitors will get to the top, they'll say a little prayer to the heavens, and if their suspension isn't great, there'll be a few sore bottoms in the morning. Okay, I'm joined now by Christian Horner, team principal at the Red Bull Formula One racing team. Christian, beautiful day, huge turnout as well. A bit of a success for Red Bull, that. Yeah, no, it's been a great day and, a, you know, an event that only Red Bull can put on. So uh, it's been a lot of fun, great uh, crowd, you know, and, and great effort from all the participants. It was uh, really a lot of fun. Speaking of participants, you went down there yourself. Would you like to give us a quick assessment of your, your soapbox? Well, the soapbox was fine. It was the driver that was the, 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 the dodgy <laughs> things. But, uh, you know, I saw the checkered flag, didn't crash, still in one piece, so that's the result. And were you impressed with the variety of designs that we saw today? Yeah, it's been been great. I mean, the variety, people going down in coffins, around tables, Elvis Presley's going down. It's been been absolutely brilliant. The winners of the Red Bull Soapbox 2013 here at Alexandra Palace, it is Fireball! It's absolutely amazing. Best feeling at all. It's a nice relief after all the hard work that's gone into this. And we pulled it off, and to come in first place is just the icing on the cake, really. Well, we've come to the end of that highly successful soapbox competition and after a little bit of blood, a lot of sweat and a few tears as well, Team Spitfire came out victorious. We're already looking forward to the next Red Bull event and hopefully there's some equally great weather there too. Thank you for watching. And that's my kind of sport. I don't know why Jasper didn't go for it. I would have been right in there. Yeah, I bet you would. Yeah, I would have been in my hot mobile, flying up the ramp. <laughs> what about you guys? Would you guys soapbox? If you would, just send us a tweet at hashtag the HMTV show. You're going to go for a mooch. How do you know I'm going to go for a mooch? Go and have a mooch and I'll see you in right, five look, minutes. I'm going to show you guys around the box park. You're going to love it. Box park opened in 2011. And as far as malls go, <laughs> This isn't the norm. These shops are made of shipping containers, all created by founder Roger Way. And I've got to say, just genius. Box Park is full of quirky fashion retailers and top-notch restaurants. Plus, visual artists can exhibit their work here for free. You might find Box Park in many a hot bin, like the first lady we interviewed this summer. Oh no, not Miss Michelle Obama, but the first lady of hip hop. Yes, Eva herself. And you even catch glimpses of the beautiful box park in her new video. Can you believe that? Are you still gassing? Right, talking about Eve, let's check out her hot five. Here. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Miss Evie Eve. Yeah. Hey, Ain't no guessing this EVE. I'm the chick that they wish they'd be. No by now to not fuck with me. Stay on top, no touching me. Pretty much a Londoner. <laughs> spending a lot of time in the UK. Yeah. So what are some of your favourite spots in London? It's more about events. So yeah. we wanna know where does Eve hang out when she's You know what? Event? I'm boring. I don't really do much. That's the thing, like okay. I don't do enough. I need okay. to do more. But like I love shortage. I love yeah. the east of yeah. London. Like I think it's so fun down there. I love Notting Hill. Yeah. I, just because it's easy. Yeah. Um, walk around. This might be my new spot. I don't know. This spot's crazy. Hey, we've hit into the jam tree clapper. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so Eve. You've been fantastic, Thanks. but now it's time for the hot five. Oh man, okay. The hot five people. <laughs> right, so, London or Philly? Philly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Gumball 3000 or Grand or Prix? <laughs> now you've got to be careful what you say here. Gumball 3000. <laughs> I have to. You have to, yes. Yeah. Okay, Biggie or Park? Ooh, now that's not fair. <laughs> that honestly is not a fair question. You're either on one side or the other. You can't be in between. <laughs> that's hard. I'm gonna have to go pop though. 
That's one. Yeah, on, you are like you for park. a reason. I have to go park. Now, in Grind or Die, yeah. you mentioned Brixton. Yeah. So, what are the top five things you love about Brixton? Please tell me. I gotta be honest, I haven't spent that much time to have five <laughs> things about Brixton. It was just a shout out, just because I'm here. But, but that's another thing I need to do before right. the next time. We're we marking this down. That's another thing I need to okay. do. I need to hang out more in Brixton. <laughs> Okay, now, because you're a gumball girl, we're gonna ask you your top five hottest cars. Ooh, that's a good question. So, top five hottest cars would be starting with 1978 Ooh, uh, Aston Martin. Nice. I love, that's like my dream car. And plus, it's the year I was born, so oh. Any Bugatti. I love a bus. They're beautiful. Yes, yes. Super luxury. Yes, <laughs> a classic convertible Mercedes from like the 60s. Nice. Um, Oh, there's a, um, a Range Rover or Land Rover Defender, mm -hmm. which is amazing. It's a sick truck. Um, maybe the other car hmm. would probably be like a Phantom. Mm -hmm. Just because uh, that's what I really want to drive this year. Yeah. <laughs> Gumbo. Plus, they're pin pins. Yes. <laughs> it's like a living room on wheels. <laughs> like, I love it. Stay on top, no touching me. Ain't no guessing this EV. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Eve here, and you know what it is. I'm chilling with Hot Minute. Peace. Sorry, guys. I think Darren needs to take five minutes out or something after wow. Eve's top five. How are you getting on then? Yeah, I'm alright. I'm alright now, but damn, that girl's hot. It should be the hot ten. There's so much to cover, and furthermore. Why was I asked to do this? You'd have loved to do the interview, wouldn't you? That interview is now all online on the website, so go and check it out. And I think we should probably go straight to the What's On guide and give you maybe five minutes to cool down. The Mobile Awards celebrate their 18th year anniversary on Saturday, the 19th October. SSE Hydro Glasgow. Tickets are from £25 to £49, available from mobo.com. Get ready for hot breaking action at the Sony Xperia B Boy Championships on Saturday, the 21st, and Sunday, the 22nd of September, at the O2 Academy Birmingham. Get your weekend or day tickets from ticketweb.co.uk. For further details, check out bboychampionships.com. Canadian circus troupe Cirque Eloise bring an exciting blend of street dance and hip hop to Sadler's Wells. See their new show ID from the 1st to the 19th of October. Tickets are priced from £15 to £42, available from sadlerswells.com. Rum lovers, get ready for the 7th UK Rum Fest. Sample over 400 of the world's finest rums on the 12th to the 13th of October at the XL London. Get your day and weekend tickets at rumfest.co.uk. That's what I love about London, always buzzing, things to do around. There's always so much to do. That's why my diary's always yeah, jumping. Yeah, I know, I'm this busy lady. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're enjoying the chill now, aren't we? And you probably need a well deserved rest after all this shopping you've been doing. Well, you know, man needs to look good when the time's right. Apparently so. <laughs> now, we're enjoying the chill here at Box Park, and if you do find yourself here, come up to Milk Tea and Pearl, mm. which is our new favourite hangout, isn't it? It sure is, it sure is. And we're drinking a bubble tea. I don't know if you've tried it, but I'm drinking taro tea with tapioca bubbles made from cassava and yam. Interesting. And I've got the lovely passion fruit with strawberry bubbles. Very nice. Very good experience, but it definitely works. Can you believe time's almost up? Can you the show? I know, it's crazy. Well, oh well, all that's left for me to tell you is about our HMTV competition, and my, is it a scorcher. Scorcher. <laughs> Now the 18th annual UK B-Boy Championship World Finals are almost upon us. The expected 6,000 fans are set to witness the most incredible action as a host of the world's sickest dancers go head to head. Now, we don't want you to miss out, so we got two extra special UK B-Boy Championships World Finals goodie bags to give away and they include 
a pair of tickets for the Sunday the 22nd September finals taking place at Burnham's O2 Academy, a Chief Walker starter snapback cap, and a copy of the book B-Boy Championships from Bronx to Brixton. Now for a chance to win one of these hot goodie bags and get your mitts on the prizes, answer the following simple question. Now which legendary great dancer hosted the UK B-Boy Championship World Final? Is it A, wobbly arms? Is it B, crazy legs? Or is it C, spindly limbs? Thanks, Darren. Now the competition closes on Friday the 20th of September, so do get all your answers in and everyone will be, <laughs> here he is, we will uh, we'll contact you by email if you want. Good luck. Warm thanks to Box Park for having us today and you London Town for tuning in to our first ever show. Thank you so much. If you do want to catch up on all the updates of today, future episodes, go along to Twitter at Hot Minute Mag or hashtag the HMTV show or of course Facebook. Yeah, find us on Facebook. But for now, keep, keep it hot! hot.